Can you hide a Power BI page from individual people? The answer is yes. Is it secure? No. But let me show you how to do it because it can be quite handy. But just reminder, it's not secure and I'll show you why. Let's go. All right, here's my Power BI report and I've got a hidden page, okay? It's, this process is not a secure process, so please don't use it to hide sensitive data from people. But if you just want to get rid of clutter or just maybe have an admin page that if people see it, okay, but they don't really want to see it, this technique can work. Um, and it doesn't involve row level security, okay? So on the right here, this person does not have access to the hidden page. If they click on this button, they can't go there, okay? I don't even have to show that button, to be honest. And over here, this person does have access when I click on it, they go to the hidden page, okay? So let me go back into Power BI Desktop and show you what I did. Okay. So the key comes down to this little formula here, all right? And I'll show you the table I've got set up, this hidden page access table. But all I'm doing is filtering that based on user principal name. So that essentially is somebody's email address when they log into Power BI. So I'm gonna filter a table to say, which has yeses and nos if they're allowed to see it, using that formula, okay? Let me show you the little page. And I just created this with um, Power Query. You know, I'll just use enter data, but you could pull this from an Excel file or a SharePoint list or something. Um, so there's the access. Okay, so that's the little table. And I've hidden this table as well. You know, right click, hide table. Not that that really matters. You don't have to do that at all. Um, but it may prevent somebody, I don't know, connecting to it with an Excel file or something like that. But again, ah, you know, this isn't what that's about. Okay, so what do I do then? So essentially what I'm doing is when somebody logs in, it filters this table, the hidden page access table, down to the people with that user principal name. So it filters it down to the row. And then the values bit, the allow access column. Okay, let me just show you. Allow access just says yes or no. Okay, and then I put in the measure. I've put in, sorry, the has access one. I've put in here equals yes. So that basically evaluates to a true or false. Okay, true or false. Then I've got this page destination. And I've said, okay, the hidden page, that's the name of it, it's called hidden page. Okay, so we can just change that, swap that out to whatever the page name is. And then this bit, it just says, look, if has access, so if that measure is true, then allow the hidden page, otherwise the word none. Now you don't actually need the yeses and nos, you just need the yeses. So you could reduce that table just to people who have access. Um, and another nice little option is you could actually just put the, make the page name dynamic. So you could actually have different pages for different people, which could be interesting. And then you can pass this using, you know, you can grab this, give me the values from this column based on, you know, the user principal name equal in that email. And that's an alternative way. And you can use that within your buttons and other, you know, other methods, conditional formatting, etc. All right, then I inserted a button and this is the key bit, insert a button, action, page navigation, and you click on the FX, okay? The FX is the key here. And the field value is that measure called page destination. I just picked it from here, okay? Page destination, that's the one where it says hidden page, okay? So page destination, okay? Well, if has access, so if that's true, go to that page. Then I also change the text. So under style, uh, under text, I went to FX, okay? And again, just put that in there, page destination. And I even changed the color, all right? So the fill color, I went down here, FX. And I said, look, if the page destination, I use rules, if the page destination is none, then gray, if not, then green. And that's essentially it. 
Okay, so that basically means the page destination button works for somebody who has access and it doesn't for somebody who doesn't. Okay, but let me show you this. If I go into this one, so this person doesn't have access, okay, whereas this person does. So if I go back here, okay, I click on the hidden page, it goes to that page. Great. However, check this out. If I go to export PDF or PowerPoint, okay, embedders image, you get the option to include the hidden pages. And if I export it, okay, I'll actually get a PowerPoint slide or a PDF, including that hidden page, which isn't great. So, you know, there's a couple of hacks to this. One hack that uh, somebody told me about the other day was that they actually add a whole bunch of hidden pages because once you've got 50 pages, you can't use the export. So that blocks anybody from exporting it. And again, not a great hack, but you know, it, it's clever, but it's not, it's a great hack, sorry, I should say, but it shouldn't be necessary. So let me just open this up. Um, the other approach I'll show you in a second. So if I open this up, okay, here's my hidden page report. Here's my first page. Here's my a random page I've got. And then this one, okay, I've actually done a little trick here. Check this out. This, they would see this page, okay, this is the hidden page. But check this out. If I go into, and I open up this one, if I go into here, and I show you what I did, okay, I've actually put a button on here. This is a button with charts hidden behind it. I could make this the full screen if I wanted to. So that's all the printed off version gives you, is that blank page button. Like check this out though, for the person who this is available for, let me go full screen with this. Let me refresh to show you this. All right. And for somebody who's got access, they can click on this and I've just bookmarked this button and the bookmark says clear the button and then you can see the visuals. So again, very hacky, um, hard to maintain, not something I'd recommend, but for narrow scenarios, and for use cases, maybe you've got admin pages and things like that, maybe. And but it also shows you, you know, the functions of uh, conditional formatting and those options. So I hope you find it useful. Don't use it for secure information. Catch you in the next video.